Well, the last time I trapped this property, this wasn't like this. It's been a month, maybe six weeks or so since I've been able to get here. So, we'll give you a multiple choice. This was done by A, a possum, B, fire ants, C, Obama, D, a beaver. <clears throat> Anybody come up with the right answer? It's D, the beaver. <clears throat> if you said anything else, you're a freaking idiot. Although, technically, we could we could blame Obama. He was in charge when the beaver did this. So, uh, I'm thinking we might set us a 3:30 right here and try to kill him because I can put it halfway in the water and I can get a good camera shot from a couple of these different trees and it would be really cool to get a beaver smackdown on cam. It's also very difficult to do because of the terrain you're usually beaver trapping in and the fact that sometimes a cold wet beaver just doesn't show up on cameras. Um, so, let me get on this. Ah, well, I threw it in the truck in a hurry and I Never bothered to reset it from last time, apparently. about right there and this is the dangerous part of these traps these are not below and the hooks come unhooked by themselves and this is the one that had a real hairy trigger on it all right Now I'm going to tie this thing off to this tree over here to reach. So we'll flip these safeties off. You just slide forward where you got the gap in the spring, slip them right off, and stay away from that. Now to sweeten the deal a little bit, I'm going to throw a little backbreaker on that twig that's hanging out in front of the trap. both directions. And all we gotta do now is set a game camera up here to watch it. Huh. Morning ladies and gentlemen. Well <coughs> it's 
certainly not the biggest beaver I've ever caught. Looks like a sawed off runt. Oh, there he is. There's some more to him. <sighs> well, he's not huge, but I guess he'll make a few burgers. Let's get him on out of here. I'm not going to bother remaking this particular set. I took the life of a beaver, but I saved the tree. And I got a camera here, so hopefully we'll have some cool footage of him actually being caught. It's gonna be all right. It's all right. It's all right. <clears throat> Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Look what I have again. Another one of these things. I just can't stop catching them. Uh, let's see if I can get him out of here. There we go. Oh. Oh, that one cut the skin just, uh, touch right there it's got you right there on the side of the offset and this is a oh it's a little male seems like I catch mostly males here smile for the camera hmm he's cute ain't he? but he's kind of scared I think definitely has that foxy smell I've caught two in the same spot this season those weren't as lucky as this one. This one's going to get to live. I've already caught enough grays. But aren't they beautiful animals? I oh, hope I'm getting all this in the frame there. You want to go home with me? I bet you'd run off in a few minutes. Anyway, uh, let's see how long it takes him to figure out that he's free to go. <laughs> Didn't take long at all. <laughs> yeah, y'all have seen me grab coons and possums, or not coons, but uh, possums and foxes by hand. I don't think I'm going to grab this guy by hand. He's got both paws in this dog proof. I set a bunch. Well, I didn't set a bunch. I set a, about a dozen more traps yesterday. And I didn't bring any dog proofs, but this one was left here from the last time I trapped this property. Come here. Come here. You gotta be in the you gotta be in the video. Come on, come on. Uh, you are I'm glad you think that log is me. Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, I'm not going to get to play with him. He's not friendly. Most coons aren't. Maybe I can play with him until he gets tired. Come on. Like that. Here. Will you stop? I'm trying to be nice to you. He's a little. Hmm. All right, well, I gotta take care of this little fella and or female and get on out of here and check the rest of my traps. Got us another possum, but he's real small. Uh, this was a uh, 
dog proof or not dog, I'm sorry what I'm thinking about this was a uh, portable pocket set here and I put the cat food inside of it and I buried the trap in front of it hoping to get a coon I thought uh thought I had already caught the possums out of this area but apparently not I know I caught one in this same spot last time I said it he's compressed here this is a good strong no BS trap but it's not cutting his skin anywhere that just could not possibly be from the trap look at how high it goes it's like he's been fighting I wonder if he's got it on the will you stop that you're not supposed to even get aggressive with me you're supposed to like go comatose come on alright well let me deal with this little fella he's kinda of grumpy in a row there's another one a little bigger than the last one this is that number two victor I use for a fox trap a lot you see a little compression spot there Will you? Smile for the camera. Huh? Yeah. What's down in there? Alright. Well, and I have him kind of long chain. Like I said, I usually use this one for foxes. I don't mind giving them a little bit of room to run and be comfortable. But, uh, Victor number two is pretty good little trap. Real gentle on the animals from what I've seen so far. I only run a couple of them. Well, our third possum of the day. He's a little more calm than the other two. But um, this is another one of those portable pockets. I put the cat food in front of it, set the trap in front of it. Was hoping to catch a coon, you know, maybe a fox. Because at least. The one advantage it gives you over a dog proof is you're more likely to catch a fox with it. Or anything it walks by. Whereas a dog proof typically comes to possums. This guy, the trap didn't damage him. This is a very strong, this is a Duke one and a half double jaw. Just, uh, which, I mean, the Dukes aren't super strong or anything. You can see it's got him compressed, didn't damage him. But he's got a little blood on his paw. I'm guessing that he bit himself as he attacked the trap. Possums don't tend to fight as hard or as long as coons do, but they'll periodically go at it throughout the night, from what I've seen on game camera footage. Remember we had a beaver set here. And wouldn't you know, we got us a freaking snapping turtle. Oh, he's big and he's mad. Okay, that's okay. Well, this is the possum of the water down here in the Well, there goes my fingers in a 330. Uh, that hurts. Let's get him out of here. to do a video about get yourself out of one of these by hand I don't think I'm gonna do it it would not be easy
here you go. Not as good as a beaver for me, but some people like them. <laughs>